let's talk about the question. I feel like everybody has asked this question at some point or another, but hmm? people always want an answer. Does height matter? Maya's dog's distracting me. Sorry, <laughs> she <laughs> is. She does that every time she lies down. She like tries to get comfortable. She's so like, cute. Maya's now. dog is just like. Um, height in, in the my experience hasn't really, but that's because I'm like five one. Because so, that makes ugly like I haven't come across no. someone that's shorter than me. I don't know if, it if I would. <laughs> like I, I feel. Like <laughs> she's just trying to get comfy, okay? Um, but my last boyfriend was five four. Or, yeah, like five four, so I, I guess it doesn't matter that much to me. But I would feel I think I would feel kinda weird if they were shorter, but that would be like a short dude. If he was like five feet tall. So Okay. Um I think height matters, yeah, because I don't want to look weird next to my boyfriend. Luckily I'm not that much taller than Nick. It doesn't look weird. I'm just a no. big person. So if I like scoot down just a little bit, the, we look like lights we're, we're basically like the same height. So yeah, but I, I think to me as very tall it does matter. Same it with does, me. It does matter because uh, just because I'm so tall, uh, it's it wouldn't be a problem for me if I was shorter. But the thing is that I don't want to look like uh, I don't want to look like the the man of the relationship. If you know what I mean, I don't want to feel like that masculine. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I'm six foot, so uh, it does matter to me. Yeah. For for me, it's a little bit more of like. Um... You know, for once I have, like, even when I go shopping with, like, Milena, it's like, oh, like, somebody that's, like, here with me. Like, we feel like we're on the same level versus, like, growing up, my, my best friend, she was, like, five foot flat, like, five feet tall, and I was, like, 5'10", and we, we would go to shopping. You're five? No, I'm 5'11", but, like... I think you I'm, are? Yeah, I'm 5'11". You foot never 11. noticed? <laughs> <laughs> no? Yeah. And so, like, like walking and always being with people that are always shorter than you, it's like you finally feel not alone-ish for once. So that's why, for me, I like people that are my height and taller. I don't want someone that's shorter than me. Michaela? What's this question? <laughs> like, I want to know the name of the person that asked this fucking question. <laughs> like... Did they specifically direct it at me, or was this for the group? Because I have a feeling this was directed towards me for some reason. No, I... it wasn't. It wasn't. Okay. I think the question um... is just, is, does height <laughs> matter, isn't it? Um, yeah. Uh, no, I I mean, I... <laughs> um, no, not really. I mean, I'm not going to date someone that's five foot, I guess. Yeah, if you're five foot, I'm not dating you, period. I don't care how much money you have. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> like, uh... Damn, Tyler barely made the cut. <laughs> just, I don't know, <laughs> but, uh, like, I saw his bank account, and it, it helped, definitely. Uh, but, usually, no. Height doesn't matter, for the most part. I, I enjoy wearing the heels, so it does look awkward sometimes when I date someone who's, like, kind of near my height, but Same. I don't really care. It just doesn't matter. Who cares? I, I had to wear flats to prom. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Same one for like, like guys. Like, it, it's so funny because this question is coming from guys and they're like, ladies, does height matter? And it's like, same to you though like are any like if True. any guy is 5'5", five, five, are you trying to date a girl that's 5'8"? Like, I don't think you are. I feel like they'd be intimidated by someone who's taller than them. Yeah. Can I be I honest know. though? There, there have been, okay, I spent a lot of my years clubbing when I was younger and the short guys walk up to us like most of the time. I think that they actually don't mind. I think they actually like it because it's like something that they're just, you know, it's out of their norm. They're like attracted to it, I guess. Ma'am, please step on me. Yeah. <laughs> short guys got game. She's right. Uh, I've never, I've never dated anyone shorter than me. I haven't dated anyone that's like drastically taller than me either. So, I mean, I'm 5'8", so I'm also kind of tall. I'm not as tall as you, you guys. Are all How tall, tall is Ludwig? He's six flat. Wait, how tall is Tyler? Are, are you Wait, I thought you were taller than him. Was that just I mean? am, like, borderline with Tyler. Like, like same, same height? Basically, yeah. I sometimes think I'm, like, a smudge taller, but he won't accept it. So, I... <laughs> I don't know. We're, like, 5'7 together. So, in other Pretty words, she's well, taller. Six, five, but I'm 5'7. Oh. Yeah, oh, you're excited. definitely taller than. <laughs> you don't have to do the questions in order. Just um, I don't do them in order. Just hop around. Like, no, 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 not, not at all. Okay. 
Um, well, okay. Why is super loud? Last How do you tell a girl loud, that you just want to, wait, that you don't want to date or that you just want to smash? Okay, so picture this. It's 2020. COVID didn't happen. You're a fuckboy. How do you go about it in an appropriate way? About wanting to like, just smash? Yeah. Yeah, you just want to smash. You don't want to date. I feel like if you're a fuckboy, you have to be out there with your fuckboyness. Like, you can't hide it. There's nothing to hide behind because, in reality, girls are going to pick up on that anyways. And True. if that's your only point across, like, why do you care about impressing them or worrying about their feelings or this or that in any type of way? Especially if you're communicating for the first time over, like, some kind of messaging or a messaging app. Like, literally, just be out there with your fuckboyness. Like, don't even try to hide it. Like, don't waste anyone's time in that way. True. Yeah, I mean, if if you're just looking to get a quick smash, go on Bumble or Tinder, like, at a, and tell them straight up. Because there's people that I know that do that. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. You literally I just go on and say, hey, I want it. Like, you talk to them, yeah, like a normal person. But then you say, not really looking to date. I'm just looking for, like, a good time. Like, just to go out. But you can't right now, so I, mean. I think as a fuck boy, like this is a very interesting thing that you guys both said because I've never thought of it this way. But like, I think you have to be so explicit to the point that like, I don't think you sleep with the same person twice. Because like, mm -hmm. the second time is when feelings can be hot, and your job as a successful fuck boy who just wants to smash is you are not you are not supposed to make anyone be sad. And so, yeah, I think you're just very explicit on Tinder, on Bumble, on whatever dating thing you're on, and saying. I am literally just looking to smash <clears throat> one night, which lots of people are, including women. There's lots of women that just want a one night thing, but you never do it a second time with that person. Cause that's when you start like messing with feelings. Yeah. And if you're look like when this virus is open or over, if you're just looking for one time smash and it's not for a specific person, you're just bored or just a loser. Uh, usually mm -hmm. you could just go to the club or something. And there's so many girls in there who, are just down to have sex. I don't like just stay at a club for a couple hours. There's girls everywhere who will touch you if you're hot enough. I mean, there you go. Get smashed. You have a one night stand. Go I to think. I think. Yeah. I just think it's best to be transparent. Just to say it straight up. I, I think girls really like confidence. So if you're just trying to smash and not get a relationship, just say it exactly like it is. Just like a depth side. Don't waste anybody's time. Yeah. I was. It's I was gonna say initially, like. I find it super unattractive if someone was just like, I'm just trying to smash, I don't care about whatever. But then I was like, wait, that's a good thing. Because then I wouldn't hook up with that person because that's not what I'm into. But if mm -hmm. you if you say that at the front, then you weed out all the people that are just going to get hurt, you know? Or you're like, because there, there are people that want that. So yeah. Echo chamber. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we all... Uh... Yeah, people G, just be hot and you'll be yes. fine, guys. Just be hot, guys. I mean, if if someone gets drunk enough, usually yeah. I mean, there are some people who will get drunk enough and sleep with anything they see. Um, but yeah, just just go out. <laughs> just go out. Except just tell out. people what you just be transparent, you know, tell the truth. That's it. Never double dip. That's <laughs> that's the real secret. Never double dip. If you're trying not to like yeah, if you shouldn't even have that. Like the question is, how do I tell her I don't want to date her? Just smash. That makes it sound like you're you're having a a fuck buddy situation, mm -hmm. and she's like trying to define the relationship. And you're like, oh crap, I just want to smash. You've already gone too far. Mm -hmm. You already messed up. You're you're hurting feelings at that point, and that makes you a bad fuck boy. If you're gonna be a fuck boy, be a good one. I yeah, agree. If you're at the stage that Cutie's talking about, you need to just break things off. Like, there's no more just having sex between you and that person. And if that's how, if what Cutie described is like how your situation feels to you, just cut it off. You need to move on and, and go to the next place, like, honestly. Because the longer you stay there, the worse things are going to get. Damn, some of these questions are good. I didn't read this before, but I'm, like, reading some of them now. Yeah, if I, anyone can stand out, feel free to grab it. I, I just really <laughs> like that we're able to do this because there's a lot of uh, guys out there who none doesn't of us have, like, a female boys. role model or a sister or a girlfriend that they can talk to about these things and get an honest opinion. And I feel like when all five of us are around each other, we speak that, like, very honest truth, exactly how we feel, and we're not scared to say how we feel. And there's a lot of questions in there that I also got from... Um, like just Twitch chat too. 
like submit it anonymously and it i feel like some of them can actually help out and not like help people put themselves out there more yeah i need i need everyone to know that when michaela because i'm just going off what my chat has decided to interpret interpret yeah. what michaela said is when she said get drunk she means like when you get drunk your standards lower and you're yeah. more desperate and it gets your sexual organs more excited she is not saying to the point of like taking advantage of somebody oh right? fuck She's no saying, no yeah. you fucking weirdos no <laughs> like Make you ugly like, more attractive that's all she's saying what the fuck is wrong with you man i'm not that's so fucked up oh my god let's attack michaela everybody attack michaela oh my god Twitch yeah, michaela. Shut the fuck up Oh my no, god. There's, there, there's just some people at clubs that when they drink, I'm not saying they're so intoxicated to where they can't nearly think, but they're people who open up more sexually when they're drunk. Like, so you might have a better chance. I'm not saying prey on people who are fucking about to pass out next to you. Like, don't be fucking weird. Just like. I don't, girls, like, I, I can't explain it. Like, when I was in Vegas, girls would randomly go up to guys and just start dancing on them. They didn't know them. Like, they're just drunk. They're going up to people dancing. Guys did it, too. Like, it's, that's what I meant. And Yeah, yeah people do be horny. People that's are horny what... at clubs. Like, people also, get Also, okay, but first of all, just to interject, there's nothing wrong with, like, dancing with people. <clears throat> Especially if you're single. There's nothing wrong with dancing with people you don't know. And yeah. someone dancing with you at a club, no matter how provocative that it is or how intense it gets, like, does not mean they want to have sex with you. Good thing okay. to say out loud that. Yes. I, yes, I just feel like this is com that. This should be common sense. Just don't be fucking, don't try to f someone. Just don't, like, if they tell you, if they're There's not giving you a vibe or telling you something, just don't fucking be weird.